In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you how you can develop projects in Evernote. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I have put together an episode that's going to show you how to develop your projects and how to use Evernote to manage your projects. Now we hear a lot about to-do list managers and note-taking apps and all sorts of various other things but Evernote has a few little features that can actually help you to focus in on getting your projects completed. And I've created a template that I use when I'm developing many of my projects in Evernote. And I do use it, although I also use, as many of you will know, uh, Todoist, which will help me to manage the tasks that I have in those projects. But you don't actually have to use a to-do list manager in Evernote. You can actually use Evernote as your project manager. It's not perfect, of course, because it's really a note-taking application and you are kind of hacking it a little bit, but it is entirely possible to do. Okay, before we go any further, I would just like to wish you all a very, very happy 2019. And if you like this episode, please click on the like <coughs> button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's go into Evernote and I'll show you how to set up a project. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do if I'm creating a project in Evernote is to create a new notebook and give it a title. So, uh, so we're going to call this exercise. I always put my uh, notebooks, by the way, in capital letters. It's just my own personal uh, preference, but obviously um, it's entirely up to you. The notebook, of course, is going to be private. I'm not sharing it with anyone, but of course, as it says, I can share it later. So I created the notebook and it's right there. Now, in order to save a little bit of time, I've actually uh, created a project planning template, which I have here. Now, the reason why I ha always have a project planning template is because I need to know what my outcome is. And I usually highlight that one. I also need to know I, what, what happened there? I'm just going um, Oh, I see. I want to create. No, that's not playing games, is it? Okay, we won't do that. So, <laughs> what what I like to do here is I have my outcomes and my purpose. I need to know what I want to do. So, in this case, we're going to be creating a weekly blog post. So, to write a weekly blog post on my exercise <coughs> program throughout uh, 2019 okay now this obviously might get um, uh, this might get expanded into many more years but we're just thinking about the next 12 months why do I want to do this to document my experiences uh, of gaining incredible fitness. Now, there's a reason why I'm using the word incredible because I need to get this, Tony Robbins calls it juicing it up. I call it just makes it more exciting. Um, and it also helps to keep you motivated when you're not feeling in the mood. So to document my experience of gaining incredible fitness in 2019, uh, and to be able to show other people that anyone can go from a couch potato to <coughs> a limp. <laughs> Let's keep it juiced up, shall we? Olympic standard <laughs> athlete. Uh, athlete in 
just 12 months. Now, that's juiced up. That's exciting. That's telling people exactly why you want to do it. And hopefully that's going to keep you motivated throughout the year. And that's the whole point. It's got to keep you motivated. By when do you want to achieve this goal? By the end of uh, December 2019. So those things are really important and I would I strongly recommend you don't skip it and certainly to have a little bit of fun with this one here simply because this is what's going to keep you really motivated when you're feeling oh, I'm not in the mood. Now, normally with a project uh, like this would be a week one timeline so you could you can put putting in here um, decide um, on uh, which host to have my blog and also you might want another one in here which is like um, decide um, decide there's a lot of decisions in the first week of course decide on design for blog and so on and you can do that and then uh, write first blog post and you could also have publish first blog but now you can go you can do whatever you want to do there now the thing is with these boxes here you can actually color code them which is really cool because you can have a bit of fun here so let's say preparation we're gonna we're gonna give preparation yellow and um, this one's preparation so we'll give that one yellow so anything to do with preparation is gonna be yellow this is obviously red because uh, this is gonna be the the big one so I'm gonna make that one red and that one's going to be a big one make that one red and you can have a bit of fun with that and you can color code it and do whatever you want with these to make them a little bit more stand out in this particular template um, what do i have to do to make this happen then you can write in write uh, a blog post <laughs> obviously with other things what happens regular uh, regular habit for um, writing each week and you know things like that so what we're going to do is next actions and then you would add in the next actions that you want to achieve uh, which you would need to do in order to make it happen now for the next actions what i would do is i would actually create a checkbox for each one and then so uh, you've got up here uh decide so you got you can go back up to your timeline to decide what you want to do here so um uh, decide on host for blog and you can create as many of these as you want um, <clears throat> decide on layout and design uh, and you know you've got all these to come in as and when so you can just throw in all your next actions when you've done them you can just tick them off because these are all checkable boxes and you can do whatever you like with that so this would then go into my blog post project and so where am I, where am I, where am I? Exercise blog, so that goes into there. And that is going to become the main part of your, your blog post. Now, the thing about creating a blog post, though, is you a blog, you actually need to create ideas. So what you would also do is create a list called blog post ideas. And this is where you would start storing those. So that, that also can now go into your uh, health and fitness blog where are we where are we where are we and you know I can never find it there we go exercise blog it's right up at the top that's why I couldn't find it so now I can go into my uh, so we've got two notes in here and they're down here so this is how you would do it now the thing is that's all very good but how am I going to be reminded of these tasks so what you would do then is you can create a reminder so these days uh, with with Evernote, they've moved it now in the latest version of it is moved to uh, this ellipses down here. So you just add reminder and you can now add a date. So you can't, now the thing is you can't recreate a recurring date, which is a shame, but that's okay. Because um, what we do is just create a list for tomorrow. That's gonna come up now. Now, however way you got this set up, you will get an email tomorrow to remind you to go and look at this note. Now, the thing is, this one is the most important one because when you're starting a blog, you need to have a long list, at least probably 20 topics that you really want to be writing about. So you would create a, 
reminder for this one again add reminder and I'm going to add a date and that again is tomorrow and that's going to come up tomorrow now the thing with with Evernote when you created reminders you actually get a list and they're down here so you can actually check them off as and when you get here so you get some really really good um, ways of managing your list if you're wanting to keep uh, all your projects only in Evernote. Now, to be honest, I, most of you will know, I actually use Todoist as well. So I would actually create links to these lists in my Todoist. But for those of you who really want to keep everything in one place, like into your in your Evernote, then this is one way that you can actually keep it. And the beauty of it is, is that your reminders are right there. You're not going to get, for, it's not going to get easily forgotten, but it's all there. Now, this particular template, I am going to share it. <clears throat> I'm going to share a blank version of this template and the link to that template is going to be in the show notes below but I'm going to give you a warning right now I will probably keep that template there for the next three months and this video is going out on the 1st of January 2019 so if you're watching this episode in 2020 I can't promise that this link will still be active. But for those of you who are going to be, who watch this video over the next six months, say before end of June 2018, then this template will be there and you can download the template. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this episode. Uh, it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to creating your own COD system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.